are, sir. You have it in you, I can tell. I'm a nasty bit of work, father. You're wrong on two counts, sir. I'm a humble brother, a penitent monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some, some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? <laughs> you have no idea. But you do, and God does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? I'm afraid I, I can't save the poor. Fair enough. You see, I've been poor. Charity? It never did anyone any good. I'm sure. What do I know? I'm just a fool making foolish choices myself. How you getting on, anyhow? These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Mm. My, um, my mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. It's a wonderful insight. He must be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> well, sometimes he's a downright fool, but, well, usually he's the best man I know. That's wonderful. The, the thing is, I'm, well, poverty will always be with us. But slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. Like Saint-Denis is acting as a staging post for shipping slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe you. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the corner, the one with the green door, well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. Help the poor. Hi there, mister. Uh, feel free to browse. Shall do. Looking for anything in particular? A bit of a strange question, but you heard tell of slavers around here, buddy? What? Where are they? Who? People you're hiding. I know they're here. Don't lie to me. Please, they made me do it. I was always good to them, but they, they, they forced me to do it, sir, I swear. Where are they? Uh, the, there's a door behind the bookcase there. Just pull the big red book called The Scourge of Crossbreeding by Harold McDougall. They made me do it, I swear. And hi guys, we are back with another video. We've just come across St. Dennis. And in the back of the fence shop, apparently there's slavery going on. And yes, ooh, look at this. And we are going to free the, the captives. What is this going on? Spaniel. Please. Let's free them. It's in the fence shop. Okay. And this is a great way to increase your honor. And what else do we get? Let's find out. So let's free this one. As you can see before in the video, we come across a priest. He said donate. We didn't obviously donate, but then he said he's not for this cause for the captives. And he tells us to come here. Now we're here. We interrogate the defense person, shopkeeper, the shopkeeper, and here we are. And always gonna take some free money. Oh, he's, can we? Yes, you can. So give cash to captives or rob. You know what? Let's give them some cash. Let's give some cash here take that and come with me i know someone who can help you not bad take the money pal how much was it though i think about 60 dollars probably and now let's go back this 
this way. Not much farther. Poor bastards. They are following me. Yes, they are. They're following me. I'm gonna take him to the monk. But they need a place to stay. Let's see if this monk is even trustworthy. Brother, Brother Dorkin's friend. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Come on. <laughs> you were right. I found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh my. That's. Well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that. They're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers, come. Let's go get something to eat. Manger. Comida, please. Hey, he forgot this. Oh. Yes. Thank you. I. Uh. Here. Payment. For your services. I could not have freed these men myself. Give it to the poor, brother. Thank you. I will. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. Come see me again sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. <laughs>